Hi guys. So today I had to experience healthcare in Kuwait today. So I thought that I would let you know how it went and what the outcome was, what the doctor said, the procedure, how much it cost for all of those who, for all of you who are probably curious about that kind of thing. I get questions a lot about like, what if you need healthcare there? And I never really thought about that until it happened. So, um, actually, as you know, I actually, I'm sounding a lot better from the treatment I had, but I'll get to that. <laughs> I have been really sick for the past few days. Um, just really fatigue, not really congestion, but a bad kind of dryish cough, sometimes phlegmy, mostly dry, uh, and just shortness of breath, like trouble breathing. It felt to me more asthma related, which I do have asthma and I do take inhalers for that as well, as you know. I'm just enjoying a lemon mint drink, my favorite here, you guys know, Limonana, yes. So, so today I woke up and I was a lot worse, like my voice, you should have heard it, like my voice is almost normal now, it's surprising to me. I sounded like so raspy, so coarse, just really, really sick this morning and I was having a um, hard time breathing, you know, after I made breakfast, I thought I'd see how it would go, I took my inhalers, I've been taking my inhalers and I've been taking this herbal medicine called Travisil. It's an herbal medicine you can buy here at the pharmacy for cough. And I pretty much almost finished the bottle in like one day or two days. So yeah, it wasn't very effective. So I decided to ask Salah if he would be able to take me to a clinic. So he did. And we got back not long ago, actually. And so the whole experience was sort of different, different sort of similar, like little differences here and there from in Canada, from comparing, but um, I thought it was gonna be really expensive, but with like the total for the whole treatment and everything, including the antibiotics, including the medicine, including the visit, everything came out, would have been like equivalent to like around $33 Canadian. So <clears throat> it was only like, maybe eight dollars to get seen at the clinic to see the doctor so it was so fast the difference was that it was so fast it, it was n not that busy actually but um there were a few people ahead of us um so we parked at the clinic i went into the clinic and we went to this like window a woman requested my passport and so we gave him all the information and that was pretty much it um yeah <laughs> just with my passport that alone was you know enough to be seen I guess and so then so then they gave us this like ticket with the number and uh, we went to this other little waiting area in the waiting area I'll insert a little video here I got a little bit of a video of it just to show you it was so colorful <laughs> and so different than um, you know the drabby waiting room I'm used to in the in the clinics but I guess just different artwork I guess some of the clinics in Canada are not that drabby I shouldn't completely dis I'm not dissing on it I'm just comparing like it was so colorful and the seating was very different it was more like benches with like these th uh, throw pillows kind of thing so luckily um we didn't wait long we waited maybe like five minutes and then like our number dinged up on this like I don't know this little display that shows the next the number that they're calling ding dong dong <laughs> <laughs> And then, um, so then we went into this room and the, do the doctor was just there direct. So you know how in like Canada, you go into a waiting room and then you go into another little waiting room and wait for the doctor. Well, the doctor was just there direct. So I sat down and he was like, yes, how can I help you? Sorry, I'm gonna, if there's cuts in the video, it's cause I'm cutting out the coughing. So, um, I explained my symptoms to the doctor and so he um, then looked at my throat. I actually have a throat infection, which I had no idea about. So um, he said that could be contributing to the fatigue. Um, I did start getting a sore throat actually this morning a little bit. So that obviously would be that would be the reason. 
Luckily, he did check Salah's throat as well. His throat is fine. So he prescribed me some antibiotics for this. And for the breathing, shortness of breath, and the cough, uh, and the other symptoms, he wanted me to have a rapid test done, a COVID test done, and also to have a nebulizer treatment done. So the nebulizer treatments, um, he actually prescribed for three days and twice a day. So every 12 hours, I have to go back to this clinic and get this nebulizer treatment, which means like, which means like I'm going to have to go back at like two in the morning to get this treatment done. But um, yeah, it actually is helping. So let me get to that. So we went to the nurse's station. He's like, you don't even have to like, actually, he's like, you don't even just take this paper I give you to the nurse's station as soon as you come and you can go right in. So we went to the nurse's station and it's like a room with like a bunch of chairs and little nebulizer stations. And so I went in and just put on the mask and the nurse adjusted the nebulizer uh, bottle thing, whatever, <laughs> you know, that little bottle that hangs with the nebulizer treatment. And so I put the mask on and sat there for 10 minutes. Each treatment's about 10 minutes, <clears throat> excuse me. But like, it did feel so much better. It was just, <laughs> I, yeah, it really helped. Um, so they also gave me a COVID test, which uh, is negative, so I do not have COVID. I honestly was at one point wondering, because you know with the travel and everything, and yeah, so it's just mostly just maybe viral, uh, maybe mixture of the, the throat infection, viral, and also just really bad asthma and he said it could be, you know, the change in environment. It is very rainy here right now as well. so you know, the different climate changes, going from extreme cold to desert weather do can have an effect, especially if you're asthmatic. So yeah, that actually went a lot smoother than I thought. You know, I, I was really nervous when I thought, oh no, I'm going to need medical care <laughs> in a foreign country. It did make me very nervous because I don't know. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know how much we would have to pay. Here I am thinking, oh my gosh, we're going to have to pay thousands of dollars or something. And I was just in such a relief. And whenever he took, whenever he told me how much he spent in total, it was like $33 Canadian. I was like, that the equivalent of $33 Canadian. I was like, wow. Okay. That's good. Um, so I'm going to show you some of the medications I have to take. Um, so I was prescribed Zithrone. It's basically azithromycin and I have to take um, one tablet twice a day. So basically you just cut them in half. I just bite them with my teeth. There's a little groove. And also some Panadol which is Tylenol for fever. But also there's this stuff here. This is Floodrex. I've never heard of this. It's cold and flu stuff. So um, lowers temperature, relieves pain and headache, nasal congestion, decongestion, because I do have some aches and pains and just feeling overall sick and low energy and stuff like that. So, um, but my, because my breathing was getting worse, I thought, you know, I better go to the clinic today and get it checked out. I better go see if it's COVID. I better just get everything taken care of. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it, I guess. Just drinking this lemon mint. So I guess I'll be going back late in the night because I had the treatment at like 2 p.m. So, so yeah, the nebulizer treatment is working really well for the asthma side of things. And I'm just going to keep taking my inhalers. Um, don't remember if I mentioned this in the beginning of the video, but the nebulizer is going to be for three days, twice a day. So I'll have to go to the clinic to do that. So this is actually the Trevisil. There's enough left, actually. I thought I finished it, but this is the this is the herbal medicine cough syrup I've been uh, taking. It has, I can feel that there's like licorice in it <laughs> or anise or something. Um, you know, that black licorice taste, but it does, it, it does cool, feels like a cooling effect. But it's temporary, so. <clears throat> so I'm just going to have to keep taking my antibiotics and just let this ride through. So yeah, I'm just going to rest and hope for the best. <laughs> and this Floodrex, they recommended I take three times a day. And the antibiotic um, 
half so one whole pill so half a pill twice a day and then the last day you take a whole pill and you have to eat them with food as well so because they're very hard on the stomach um anyways um that's about it for this video i just wanted to share my experience with you if you have any questions please feel free to leave any respectable questions or feedback in the comments i'll try to answer as much as i can in and out of rest <laughs> and i'll see you in the next live stream guys bye